family. I trust you having a blessed new year and uh, that the Lord continues to bless you in 2024. Uh, during my daily time in reading uh, the Bible in the mornings, I'm uh, reading through Exodus right now. And I'm always amazed at how many times, no matter how many times you read God's word, there's always still more that he teaches you. Uh, the Bible is like a bottomless well that just never runs dry. And uh, this morning I was reading Exodus chapter 16. And uh, it's the account where God blesses the children of Israel with manna from heaven. And, uh, you know, they are a few weeks into their journey uh, across the wilderness, into the wilderness. And as we know, it would uh, ultimately take them 40 years to get to the promised land. But this is before they got to Mount Sinai. This is before the giving of the law. But uh, God is giving them a sneak preview into the law that he has for them. Um, he provides manna and he tells Moses to tell the children of Israel, to tell all the people that they, every day they should go out and collect uh, manna in the morning. But on the sixth day, they should collect for two days because on the seventh day they're to rest because it's a holy day. It's a day of Sabbath rest and they're not supposed to collect any food on that day. So on the sixth day, collect enough for two days. And God is not, obviously the law is not being given, so the, the Sabbath rest is not actually written by the law of Moses yet, but God is telling them, this is the way I want you to live. Um, it's yet the unwritten law. And, uh, you know, it was a test for them because some of the people didn't believe that God would provide. And they went out on the seventh day looking for manna, as we read in Exodus chapter 16. And, you know, if only they knew that they'd be eating this same food for 40 years, they probably wouldn't be as eager to go out and look for it. But they went out on the seventh day and they found nothing. And uh, the reason that they were eager to go out on the seventh day was because they didn't trust God. They didn't trust that God had provided enough. And maybe they didn't trust that God would continue to provide. And you know, we're not much different today. Uh, even though we don't say it, we really struggle with the idea of a Sabbath rest. Whichever day you take, whether it's a Saturday or a Sunday, in my case, I take a, a Monday as my Sabbath because it's, uh, Sundays are pretty busy for me. But uh, we struggle with that. People struggle with that. You know, and even on a, on a Sunday, if that's your Sabbath day that you take off, uh, people still try to do some work. Maybe they check their emails. Maybe they write a few um, finishing touches on a contract that they need to submit on Monday. Um, there's, there's work to be done. There's things that need to be done. Uh, if you're at school, maybe there's uh, homework to do and uh, maybe preparing for that test that's coming up on Monday. We struggle to take a Sabbath rest. But I really want to challenge you to 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 make that a discipline this year, to take a Sabbath rest, to trust the Lord. Because the reason we do work on a Sunday or a Sabbath day, whichever day you take, the reason we work is because we don't trust God. We don't trust Him that He will provide for us and that He will continue to provide for us even if we take a day as He has commanded, a day of rest, a day to focus on Him, a day to give thanks for what He has given and what He has provided already. So I want to challenge you. Why don't you test the Lord in this in 2024 and uh, take a Sabbath rest where you completely rest uh, from everything, including put your phones down, stay off social media, don't even read it, just rest. And I promise you, because this is God's global law, this is the law from the beginning of time, uh, it will bless you. It will bless you. You know, God created the world in six days and on the seventh day he rested he didn't rest because he needed rest. He rests to show us that this is the way it should be. And this is the way the creation will function better and function effectively. So trust the Lord with a Sabbath rest this year. I want to challenge you in that at the beginning of the year. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Uh, we, Due to the icy and the cold conditions of possible snow, um, we are canceling the 8.30 service but we will still have the 1030 service. So please join us for that. Look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday morning. God bless you.